Hi. In this session, we're going to focus solely on the plucking hand, and in particular, how to play open strings on the bass. Now, in theory, this all seems very simple and straightforward to do, and you might be very tempted just to move on, especially if you're able to, or you can play well already. But I encourage you to stick around, as something I discuss or show to you might inspire or help solve any difficulties that you might be experiencing with your plucking hand. So, let's introduce you to some concepts and methods that'll put you on the path to mastering the mechanics of playing the bass. The human body is an incredible machine, and how we use it to play and interact with a whole host of different instruments is nothing short of amazing. Just taking the time to watch and study a competent musician play their instrument is, in my opinion, something well worth doing, and regardless of instrument type, you may very well see and pick up on small details that you could use and apply to the bass guitar. Now, all of these highly skilled players have something in common. They all possess great technique. And it's the ability of having complete control over their technique that allows them to do what they do. Any musician with great technique makes everything they play appear effortless and relaxed. However, I guarantee that they're not consciously thinking about their technique as they play. They're just letting it happen. This is because it's ingrained in them through dedicated practice and hard work. And not worrying about their technique allows them to focus purely on the music. And in turn, this gives them the ability to fully express themselves through the notes or rhythms that they choose to play. To simplify the concept, they think about playing and not how to play. Regardless of the lesson content, I'd really like you to take this concept on board as we move through these sessions together. Take your time and work on any new techniques until you end up not even having to think about them. Just let them happen and happen effortlessly. Building a foundation of good technique is, in my opinion, the key to being able to play the bass well. So, let's start working towards this now by looking at the plucking hand. The majority of bass players use the first two fingers of the plucking hand. These are the index finger and the second finger. Although nowadays it's not uncommon to see players using three and sometimes all four fingers on this hand. If you can, I recommend you check out Billy Sheehan and Matt Garrison to see great examples of three and four finger techniques. Both of these players are proof of what can be achieved if you're prepared to work hard at developing your plucking hand technique. After all, there's nothing like good inspiration. Now, I'm going to assume that you've never even played a bass before, so apologies to those of you that can already play. Just please stay with me and try out the following exercise. Who knows, it might even bring to your attention something about the way you've been playing your bass, and at least give you an opportunity to address it. Right, what I want you to do is take your plucking hand and reach it out in front of you at shoulder height. OK, stretch your hand fully and extend the fingers as far as they can go like this. Now, when I say I want you to completely relax your hand and arm to allow your fingers, but only your fingers, to drop. OK? Relax. This should immediately feel much more comfortable. And notice how everything in your arm, and in particular your fingers, feels much freer. Also notice how the thumb hangs down with the fingers when the hand is totally relaxed. More on this very shortly. Now, keeping your arm in the same position, wiggle your index and second fingers like this and pretend that you're plucking an imaginary bass string in mid-air. Get used to how this feels to move your fingers. This is how it should feel when you pluck the strings of your bass. Nice and relaxed and free from any tension. After all, isn't this how any competent musician with good technique interacts with their instrument? 
OK, let's take this hand and position it on the bass ready to play. To do this, quite simply transfer our relaxed hand shape onto the area above your pickups. We use the thumb to support the weight of our plucking hand and anchor it in a position like this, leaving our fingers resting on the strings. Notice how we can pivot and move our plucking hand using the thumb to gain access to each string while still maintaining the relaxed feeling in our fingers. If you can feel any tension creeping back into your plucking hand, just go back and repeat this little exercise again. Being able to identify and feel for yourself when your hand isn't as relaxed as it could be is an important skill to learn. And it's far easier to learn this now rather than trying to unlearn years of inefficient playing. Remember, developing good and better technique has so much to do with this type of self-analysis. When plucking the string, try to use the fleshy part of your finger here. Most newcomers to the bass think they should use the very tip, but I encourage you to play through the strings. So let's put this into action by starting on the G string. With your plucking hand in a comfortable position, rest both your index and second fingers on the string like this. Rather than plucking at the string, use alternate fingers to play through it like this. See how both of my fingers are slightly straightened and the plucking action is aimed more towards the body of the bass with the movement of the fingers happening at the knuckle joint. This action of playing through a string gives you a far stronger tone as well as another major benefit. After playing through the string, notice how each finger makes contact with the next string down, using it like a backstop. By coming to rest on the next string down, we have in effect prevented that string from vibrating, and in turn, this small technique alone can instantly make your playing sound clearer and much more precise. OK, using these new techniques, I want you to focus on playing just the open strings of your bass in turn, using alternate fingers. Start by playing four notes on every string using your index finger to lead. Play along with me as I demonstrate this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once you get to the bottom E string, just repeat the process back across the strings like this. As you run the exercise, really focus on trying to make each finger sound the same as you play through the strings. Your goal should always be to achieve an even and consistent sound. If you find that the strings you're not playing are still vibrating causing the bass to make excess noise, just lay the fingers of your fretting hand gently onto the strings anywhere on the fingerboard. Watch again as I repeat the exercise up and down, this time using my fretting hand to mute the strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Please work on this exercise and take your time to get fully confident with the techniques involved. Move on and develop the exercise for yourself. For example, maybe try and play a different number of notes on each string, or try using just your index finger to pluck the notes. Remember that producing a good sound from the instrument is what we're aiming for here, and hopefully I've managed to show, or at least put you on the right track to achieving this. So keep practicing, and I'll see you next time.